Lord, are pleasant, and all your ways are true. For behold, I have known your decrees, for you are eternal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, mercy. have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Unworthy servants that we are, O Lord, grieved by the guilt of our deeds, we pray that you may gladden us by the saving advent of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <laughs> A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Raise a glad cry, you barren one who did not bear. Break forth in jubilant song, you who were not in labor. For more numerous are the children of the deserted wife than the children of her who has a husband, says the Lord. Enlarge the space for your tent. Spread out your tent cloths unsparingly. Lengthen your ropes and make firm your stakes. For you shall spread abroad to the right and to the left. Your descendants shall dispossess the nations and shall people of the desolate cities. Fear not, you shall not be put to shame. You need not blush, for you shall not be disgraced. The shame of your youth you will forget. The reproach of your widowhood no longer remembered. For he who has become your husband is your maker. His name is the Lord of hosts. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel, called God of all the earth. The Lord calls you back like a forsaken wife and grieved in spirit. A wife married in youth and then cast off, says your God. For a brief moment, I abandon you, but with great tenderness, I will take you back. In an outburst of wrath, for a moment, I get my face from you. But with enduring love, I take pity on you, says the Lord, your Redeemer. This is for me like the days of Noah, when I swore that the waters of Noah would never again deluge the earth. So I have sworn not to be angry with you or to rebuke you. Though the mountains leave their place and the hills be shaken, my love shall never <coughs> leave you, nor my covenant of peace be shaken, says the Lord who has mercy on you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial song. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O oh Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You, you preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you, his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime, his goodwill. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn, rejoicing. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You changed my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever I will give you thanks. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. 
Aleluia, aleluia. Aleluia, aleluia. Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. All flesh shall, shall see the salvation of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the messengers of John the Baptist had left, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out to the desert to see? A reed swayed by the wind? Then, then what did you go out to see? Someone dressed in fine garments? Those who dress luxuriously and live sumptuously are found in royal palaces. Then what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom scripture says, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way before you. I tell you, among those born of women, no one is greater than John. Yet the least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. All the people who listened, including the tax collectors who were baptized with the baptism of John, acknowledged the righteousness of God. But the Pharisees and scholars of the law who were baptized by him rejected the plan of God for themselves. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. In the passage this morning, Jesus asked the question, what did you go into the wilderness to look at? What was their real purpose in going out to see this prophet so many had spoken of? After all, there had not been another in their midst for more than 400 years, to be exact. Were they hoping for a man to lead, to deliver them from the oppression they existed under? Could he be the one? Curiosity, or are they looking to be entertained? Jesus declares him more than a prophet. He is the one crying out in the wilderness. He is the one calling out for a change, a change of heart on the part of the people. He is the messenger sent from God to announce the long-awaited promised Messiah. But just as Jesus was a different sort of Messiah than was expected, so John is a different sort of prophet. His very name means God has been gracious. So John was granted something extra. First, for 400 years before John, Israel had not seen a prophet. There had been those who claimed to be prophets, yet none of them had been sent from God. Second, John himself had been the subject of prophecy Remember the words, a voice crying out in the wilderness, foretold in the book of Isaiah. And finally, John would be the only prophet who actually came face to face with the subject of his prophecy. As Jesus continues, he speaks of those who are least in God's kingdom being greater than even John. What do these words mean? Who was he speaking of? Yet the more important question, was he speaking of us? Are we a member of God's kingdom? The key to this answer is found in Jesus' own words. I am the way, the truth, and the life. We know the rest. By these words, we can know that we are among those who are counted as greater than John. Let us pray this morning for God's help to be counted as members of the kingdom with John, our brother. Mother Mary, in your wisdom, pray for us. <clears throat> so we together as one family and faith to offer to God our prayers and our needs. That Christ may visit his holy church and keep, keep watch over her always, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That under the protection of Christ, our times may be peaceful let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. 
that Christ may banish disease, drive out hunger, and ward off every affliction, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as witnesses to Christ's love before all, we may abide in the truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those in our community, both here present and those watching on video, who are suffering, whether from physical, emotional, or mental illnesses, that they may be comforted by the resurrected Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. For all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, joined through the intercession of St. Thomas the Apostle, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the repose of the soul of Mr. John Allen Duffy and the consolation of his family, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with the glory be prayer. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, world without end. Bless you, Lord God of all creation. But through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth, the work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, God, forever. Bless you, Lord God of all creation. But through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. For to the vine, the work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Bless you, God, forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the of all his holy church. Accept we pray, our Lord, these offerings we <clears throat> make gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ. Our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We will lift up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed his first coming, the loneliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty, and then all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing to him of your glory as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fox of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread out and gave me thanks for it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs with eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the same our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. And we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy you may we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. We now our sins but on the faith of your church. And gracious I grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, the only name that takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. <laughs>
let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him now we pray. And to you, O Prince of Heaven, who us. By the divine powers, thrust into hell, Satan, and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking to burn their souls to make him. Divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his own man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious love. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the prayer of the Blessed be the great wonder of God, the very most holy. Blessed be her holy command of concession. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of her very birth and mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, the Lord of Jesus Christ. And blessed be God and the angels and his saints.